So welcome to week seven. And this week, actually, what we're going to be talking about is managing group work. You know, if you think back to your college days, probably with a little bit of mixed emotion, you think about the uh, group projects that you had to do. And a lot of students have that same kind of trepidation when they think about doing group work, especially in online spaces. So the discussions this week really look at the kinds of tools you can use in designing and putting together group kinds of projects and also the pros and cons. There's three videos that you can take a look at, all of them pretty short, about six, seven minutes, and uh, about the ideas of the pros and cons of doing group or team kind of work. Let's take a moment, if we could, and sort of reflect back on where we've been in this course and what we've been doing. So um, looking at the week's topics, you'll realize that in week one, what we did is we really started to look at the principles of online teaching and learning. And there were quite a few principles that we looked at. Uh, there ideas about um, 10 effective principles, online courses, good pedagogy, that sort of thing. So you, we learned quite a bit about what is effective, what isn't effective. If you remember in week one, we also looked at the theorist. So you might want to take some time, uh, go back as you're starting to think about how am I going to create the course, what am I going to do, if I'm applying this to my online courses that I'm doing right now, what is there in these 10 principles lists um, that would be effective for me, and what is it that I need to think about. You can see that here in this list, we're looking at show up and teach, establish patterns of course activities, respond to response requested and expected, think before you write. So all kinds of things that um, played out really well when we were thinking in week one about, okay, so what is it that, that, are, that is best practice in terms of an online course? And uh, we also talked about the theorists and our theories and started to think about what is it that we believe about teaching and learning online. Then what we did is we went into um, planning and course elements. And we started to think about, okay, what exactly should be involved when we're designing courses? We uh, invited Lonnie in, learned about MOOCs, thought about some other principles. We discussed three types of presence. So that teaching presence, that cognitive presence, and that social presence, and the importance of all those. And then looked at different types of elements that would be involved in putting a course together. Syllabus, we talked about an introductory video to the syllabus and looked at some examples. Um, we looked at the kinds of discussions that you would need to have, maybe thinking about how to walk people through your course space, your learning management system. And so really started thinking about the elements that were involved in building an online course. Week three, we went deep into the syllabus. We started thinking about, do we want to have a contemporary syllabus or do we want to do, um, you know, something that is more traditional? And it really depends on the setting you're in, what the expectations are. But even with a more traditional syllabus, there's things that you can do. What I want you to start thinking about is for this course, would you like to put together a syllabus, have the rest of us give you feedback, have myself give you feedback, and possibly use that syllabus either for a new course you're developing, like I know Trina is, or maybe even use that syllabus to teach a course for powerful learning practice. We're in the process of beefing up our online learning arm, and we'll be looking for people to help us develop self-paced courses, as well as um, instructor-led online courses. And we'd love to have you um, be part of that if you think that's something that you might be interested in. Then in week four, we started thinking about launching your online course. And Donna was really great at this. She shared a lot of what she's doing in her courses. And, um, and then we also started to think about, you know, what do you really expect in the first few weeks? And we, we uh, had some great discussions around that. And, um, and really, we also started thinking about our own personal and uh, philosophies of learning in online spaces. But if you remember here, we had, saw some examples to the video introduction. We looked at seven checklist, uh, seven item checklist for course beginning. So as you're starting to create, you really can go through and uh, follow that checklist and put everything on the table that you're going to need uh, to teach your online course. So we're moving through here and um, really starting to think about all the elements. And then Viv helped us to look very closely at this idea of building community in online courses and whether it's possible in the short amount of time and what a sense of community felt like and why it's important and the tools that can help to build that. 
And uh, she did a great job of that. If you didn't get a chance to hear the webinar, go back, listen to it. And remember, all the archives are available for you to listen to. Uh, last week, we talked about knowledge building and pedagogical concerns. And um, because I posted late uh, that content, some people didn't get a chance to do the reading. So I left a few days on the front, um, to Monday, Tuesday, and, and Wednesday, to be able to look at that. If you didn't get a chance to um, listen to the webinar last week, I recommend you listen to that one. It was a pretty good. We got into some pretty uh, nice discussions. In fact, Darla shared something that I think was an aha moment for all of us. And so, um, including myself, and so go back and, and look at that and look at the reading list. And I, I gave you another opportunity. This week, like I said, we're going to be talking about managing and facilitating um, group work. If you haven't done your five-minute lesson, join in on the fun. Let's let you practice. As you can notice, each time in the beginning, it was really more about um, very specific kinds of things with teaching in the, in the Blackboard space. When Trina taught, because we're learning from each other, it was really more about things that kind of would be fun to do or might um, might be interesting to do and not so much on um, the nuts and bolts of it because we're all kind of finding our way. Also, if you want feedback on your syllabus or if you'd like feedback on the uh, philosophy of education or if you want to do an introductory video, any of that, you need to make sure you have it up by week nine so that we all get an opportunity to uh, give you feedback. It's week seven, so if you haven't started working on that, I'd really recommend that you do that. Also, if you haven't had a chance to be in the course lately, maybe you've been away, maybe you've had a lot of things on your plate, I'm going to say this in my best New York accent, don't worry about it. Okay, so what we want you to do is get on back in. You don't try to start back and get everything you missed. Just start at week seven. And then you can go back and pick up after the course is over because you'll have access to the space. So the uh, the the I went ahead and relinked the week six reading list. So if you didn't get a chance to look at those documents, and a link to the webinar. So that's where we've been. Now where are we going in the course? I think that's kind of important to look at now that we're a little bit past halfway. The places that we're going to be going is next week, and I don't have anybody that's going to co-teach with me on this week yet. But next week, we're actually going to be talking about technology integration, crowdsourcing. I'm going to talk about the TPAC model. We're going to bring in a lot of different tools, a lot of different techniques, how you can incorporate 21st century skills into your online course. So we're going to talk about that. Also, um, in then week nine, uh, Trina is going to work with me, and we're really going to look at this idea of authentic assessment. How do you assess and track and give credit for and use formative feedback to um, in an online course and are there technologies that will allow you to do that? What are some creative ways to um, assess and measure the learning that's taking place? Uh, group work is one of the ways to do that. So it kind of ties into what we're talking about this week. And then um, the last week, we're really just going to be reflecting back and looking forward. And one of the things that I want to do in that wrap up week, and I'll be working with Darla, is to really think about how do you wrap up a course? How do you tie everything up in a neat bow and um, bring an end to what's happening? So I'll model that. We'll talk about that intentionally. And, um, and we don't have much further to go. You know, we've got three weeks after this one. So um, hope you'll dig in. Hope you're enjoying the course. Know that you'll have access to the course afterwards to go back and look at things that you might have missed. But let's um, let's all meet in the online space and start discussing group work and managing projects. And in fact, this might be a great week that if you have a question or you have an idea about any of the weeks prior or this week's topic to post your own discussion because we haven't done that yet. So why don't you go in and add a discussion, maybe a, an idea you have or something you're working on, or maybe you want feedback. So we've had people in past courses that would be working on courses, and they would post something like a rubric for assessment and say, hey, can you guys take a look at this and give me feedback? So maybe your, my challenge, my call to action for you guys this week, yes, go and weigh in on the three or four discussions I've posted, but maybe post one of your own and, uh, and, and take try your hand at doing an effective discussion and uh, we'll, we'll reply, we'll show up, and we'll uh, respond to whatever you share. All right, well, I hope you have a great um, rest of the week, and I'll see you online, and then see you in the webinar on Monday. Bye, everyone.